Good morning. It is a Saturday morning and I'm having a slow start to the day, but I'm putting on the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, which I have been obsessed with. It's got SPF 30 and I'm in the shade Alaska. My mom always uses the phrase, sometimes you have to go to Alaska to get to Florida. And I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but it's like her way of saying like, I don't know, sometimes you have to like crack a few eggs to make an omelet. Are you with me? <laughs> Probably not. I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm going to insert some clips from a couple of months ago and you'll know it's from a couple of months ago because my roots were down to here because we were in like a no salon lockdown at the time. So I hadn't had my hair appointment yet. So you can be graced with that beautiful scene. Um, but it's all about the very exciting first ever product collaboration between Mirror Water and Choosing Keeping, which I'll go into detail with in a minute. I'm gonna do my makeup, you watch that, and I will be right back, hopefully a little more put together. Hi everyone, so today I'm taking you behind the scenes because I am so excited to announce that Mirror Water is doing its first collaboration. Um, we are creating a notebook with one of my favorite ever brands to exist. It is a dream come true for me. It's the stationery brand Choosing Keeping. And if you've been watching me for a long time, you'll know that I love Choosing Keeping. I have shopped here for years. I have been a fan. I have been a customer. I get all of my gifts here. <laughs> Pretty much everyone in my life has one of these light mills because I just think they're so beautiful and I always gift them. So when Mirror Water was going to do its first collaboration, I knew that the first one had to be with Choosing Keeping. And I love journaling. I love stationery, I love notebooks, and I know that so many of you do as well. So it just felt like a really natural fit. And when I brought it to the Choosing Keeping team, obviously I, I know them because I've been a customer for so long, um, they were really excited to work with me on that. So that was amazing. It was a great example of if you don't ask, you don't get. And I was prepared for them to say no because they are so specific in their brand and their image and I think sometimes collaborations can be tricky if that makes sense um, but I think we both really wanted this to be an equal collaboration between two brands and I think we have managed to pull off something that feels half mirror water half choosing keeping it's been such a joy to work on this and i'm excited to show you the, a bit of the process um, of how we did it obviously there have been some pastries provided for this filming expedition and there is a hot dog in there and i am couldn't be more excited to taste this so i had a meeting maybe a month ago with the girls here and we kind of put all of the paper out on the table it was so fun and um we had different samples and different you know linens so for instance if you've never seen a choose and keeping notebook it looks like this and they're super thick very premium and luxe and i got to choose how to decorate my notebook i got to choose the paper the linen and we are also designing the inside and it will be lined like this. This is a really thick, juicy notebook. So when I came, I knew I wanted to do something that was really in line with Mirror Water, but obviously in line with choosing keeping as well. And we tried a lot of things. I really wanted a checkerboard because I love the little ones that they do like this, but I wanted to do something a little bit extra and we decided on this pattern and it's really hard to visualize honestly and I was going back and forth because we really wanted this notebook to be perfect obviously but this checkerboard really spoke to me and you know the pillars of mirror water because it's a checkerboard but it kind of bleeds into each other like this and I love that it was imperfect and so I decided with this checkerboard and then we tried loads of different colors um, we obviously wanted it to feel very much and you know in line with mirror water's colors and we eventually found oh yes here it is 
um, this green that I really liked and this brown. So we eventually settled on this checkerboard with this green and this brown. And today I have come in, oh, and we're doing it on this lime green linen. So we had lots of linen options to choose from. There were way more than this, but eventually I was like, I want that lime green. Um, and I just came in today and we have the final sample of the paper, which looks like this. It's so beautiful. It's everything I could have wanted and more. It's a sort of dark brown and a lime green and it's going to go against this linen here. So that's what the notebook is going to look like. I cannot wait to see the final thing and we are just in the shop. We've got free reign to just film whatever we want in here and it's such a beautiful space. Um, I mean, have you ever seen anything more gorgeous in all your life? <laughs> Probably not. This store is incredible. I'm super excited to see how they are going to turn out. And I will obviously show you as soon as I get the very first one. Um, can't wait. <laughs> so it's literally a dream come true because I've been writing and choosing keeping notebooks for years and years and years now. For instance, this was a beautiful gift that Rebecca got me uh, before we even knew we were gonna do this notebook. Like, you know, it's just choosing keeping has been such a part of my life. And I also have this notebook, which my friend Nadia got me on my 30th birthday. You know, so it's just really natural to me and I'm just so excited about it. It's, it's not just a notebook, okay? It's not just a notebook. Well, that was fun, <laughs> at least for me, to go back and watch through that. I mean, time is just flying. It's weird, that feels like yesterday, but it was actually a few months ago. Um, so that's cool. If you want to get one of these amazing journals, and I really mean amazing, like I'll show you um, this one really quickly. The final finished versions are actually at my office and I do not have the strength to go over there today, but I will show you on Instagram soon and on Mirror Water's Instagram. But just so you get an idea, it's this size, and it's this thick, it's really super thick. Like for instance, this is my big giant moleskin. And you can see the, I've spilled water on my moleskin so many times, but hang on, hang on, hang on. If you see, it's a lot thicker. It's probably double, double and a half thickness of a moleskin. So it's a super, super thick journal. And this is the one that my friend Nadia got me. For your 30th journey around the sun, my friend, live life till you're full. So sweet. And then she also did this little drawing in here. So the mirror water one will also be lined. And I journal in this all the time. Don't mind my air conditioning unit. This is my favorite thing ever. I'm going to speak a lot more about this soon, but the paper is handmade in Japan and it's all very excitingly made. So I'll speak about that soon. But if you want to get your hands on a journal because it's limited edition, make sure you sign up for early access. Early access starts on Tuesday and then regular shopping starts on Wednesday. So if you sign up to the newsletter at www.mirrorwater.earth, you will get early access to shop for the journal. Once they're gone, they are gone, and it's such an exciting collaboration for me. I've always really wanted to do collaborations um, with Mirror Water. That's what I've always wanted to do. And like I said, this is a great one to start with. Um, so I'm actually gonna go meet a friend now for a quick little walk by the South Bank. And, um, I'm not gonna vlog that because this person in particular does not like to be on camera. So not gonna vlog that. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to do an Instagram live, which by the time you're seeing this vlog, you can go watch. It's kind of like all about mirror water, what it is, why I started it, who's a part of it, what my goals are for it. Um, so I will leave a link to that in the description box if you wanna go watch that Instagram live. And now I'm gonna go put my clothes away because I just got back from Devon last night and I have to unpack my bag. Oh, it just got really dark. I have to go unpack my bag, as you can see. I need to do that. So let me unpack this clo these clothes and I'll see you later tonight for the Instagram live. I actually have to tell you about my new favorite snack. 
and this is not particularly healthy, but this is like, oh my God. <laughs> so these are hummus chips. Any chip will do. And this is olive tapenade. It's literally just like crushed up olives and sea salt. So what you do, well what I do, what I do a lot, is just dip this in, okay? If you like olives, olive tapenade is like, this is my opinion, like grated cheese is better than cheese. And the reason is because the surface area on your tongue is greater, so it tastes better. <laughs> this is the same thing if you like olives, and I love olives. This is like grated cheese, but olives. Mm, mm. And before I go, I have to show you what we got made. Mirror, water, tape. I cannot even tell you how difficult it was to get this tape made, it's recyclable. And just getting those dimensions on there, making sure it was the right color, the right tone, uh, the right material. So we ordered a bunch of this so that we can ship out the notebooks with this cool tape. I, I never thought a roll of tape could make me so happy. Here is my super professional Instagram Live setup. <laughs> I actually really love this phone stand. Literally just gonna sit at my desk and do this. It's actually the next day and I didn't end up vlogging basically anything yesterday because I was feeling so weird. Yesterday I was feeling so dizzy. I'm actually still kind of feeling like that. I was feeling super dizzy and like felt like I could throw up, but I didn't. Um, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I am not pregnant, but I'm, it honestly like if I thought for a minute, I was like, am I? And then I was like, no, you're not. Don't even need to be scared about that. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, I was feeling so weird yesterday and then I went to um, this place in Peckham called Voodoo Rays um, for a friend's birthday and didn't stay late, didn't drink or anything. I haven't drank any alcohol for a long time and then this morning I woke up feeling like I was hungover. It was weird, I just feel really tired. I think I'm like a little burnt out, I'm not sure. So I'm going to have a bath and put on a face mask and chill today today is a chill day it's sunday it's really gray outside so let me go run a bath and i'll show you what i'm going to put inside it so i'm going to use the herbivore ylang ylang and vanilla soaking salts i think i need more of like a salty detox so i'm going to put a few of these in and maybe an oil as well yes i think i'll add a couple of these bath drops from fur these are super cool little capsules that dissolve in the bath and they have nice oil, so you add two to three per bath. So I'm gonna add three, if I can get one. There we go. Going in my bath. My skin feels like so dehydrated and dry and just like tired. I feel so tired today. Um, so I'm going to do some masking. So I need to put on an exfoliating mask and my favorite exfoliating mask, no surprise here, is the Oskia Renaissance mask. Look at that. Oh my gosh, how many of these have I used in my life? A lot. I am obsessed with the texture. So what I do is just apply this to my face. And since it only stays on for like 10 minutes, yeah, 10 to 15 minutes, I bring a cloth with me into the tub. So I'll bring like one of these. After 10 or 15 minutes, I'll run some clean water on the cloth and then just rinse my face. And then I usually stay in the bath for about 30 minutes. So once I rinse this mask off, my skin will be freshly exfoliated and it will be time for a clay mask. I always do a clay mask after I do an exfoliating mask because, you know, my skin is freshly exfoliated and I really wanna get in there and clarify my pores. This is the Grown Alchemist Deep Cleansing Facial Mask. I love Grown Alchemist, so I'll bring this in the tub with me. I'm gonna do a hair mask when I'm in there. I'm using a bleach hair mask, 
like the brand bleach which i will link to in the description box and then when i get out i will show you how i hydrate because that's the best part oh my goodness is this my effie in my bed oh our little sweetness okay i've got my sheet mask on and i am going to lay in bed and enjoy this i think i really needed this <sighs> chill day to just reset um i am gonna do yoga i do yoga every sunday so i do yin yoga and it's one of my favorite styles of yoga because it's basically like sleeping and stretching <laughs> so you hold each pose for three to five minutes typically and it's just like a really nice deep stretch so once this is done i'm going to do some yin yoga maybe i'll have a nap <laughs> and just chill just chill today so i'll end this vlog here and like i said please go sign up to get early access to pick up one of our um limited edition journals with choosing keeping it would mean the world to me um if you would support this project because we've been working really hard on it and it's such a huge passion project of mine and also if you didn't see the instagram live on mirror water which is basically like what is mirror water and like what am i trying to do then go check it out on instagram at mirrorwater.earth thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and i will see you very very soon let me know what videos you want to see from me i was thinking about doing a would you rather <laughs> just for something fun so let me know okay bye everyone